Hey, for you Sakers, it's Tuesday, May 17th. Mitchell here, coming to you live from Winnipeg, Manitoba in Canada here. I uh, just wanted to say hello. It's been a long time. I haven't made a second video yet. I've been really busy. Um, work has been grinding me like crazy, and I just started a new job, so it kind of, you know, when you start a new job, you really got to kind of put in your all in the beginning, and then they realize how much work ethic you have, and you're good to go. Um, I'm coming to you live from my patio here. Uh, it's really bright. Sorry about the squinting. I'll give you guys a quick little view of downtown Winnipeg here. Oh, it's nice. It's got the railing in the way. That's okay, though. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's super green right now, which is the best part about it. Um, just going to have a quick sip. Cheers. So I kind of wanted to have a theme for my second video. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my worst date experience I've ever had. Um, and I'm curious as to hear from you guys of what your worst date is. So I'm going to kind of tell you a little story about how mine went. Uh, it's probably not as bad as it could be. I think there's worse, people have worse dates than this, but I mean, it was still, you know, it was pretty bad for me, I guess. So it was, of course, a grinder date as per, you know, most of nowadays gay dates do start online or on grinder or some form of the other. Um, it did start in Grider. We met on Grider, decided to meet in person after exchanging, you know, the casual one to five pictures. So after a couple beers, you know, we proceed to getting to know each other. The date was going really well at this point. I mean, he was a pretty interesting guy. It was, uh, you know, he was good looking, he was attractive. I mean, the Grider pictures didn't lie. But, you know, the two things you never talk about on a date are, you know, religion and politics. And I thought it was just a saying. I mean, I thought you never really people to say those things that you don't actually follow through with it but really you don't want to talk about those on a date so I actually grew up Jehovah's Witness so I don't mind talking about religion I'm kind of comfortable talking about it I used to go knocking on doors and you know telling people they should read their Bible but not anymore I grew up that way and uh, I mean so I have a lot of I talk to people I'm used to talking about it but not on a date and I still have a lot of the same values. I mean, like, I, I'm a good old Christian boy. Not really, but a lot of the same values still apply. And you don't want to talk about those on a date. Not on a first date, at least. Like, fifth, sixth, seventh date, make sure you're good. But the first date, uh... And then when it comes to politics, oh, my God. I don't even like talking about politics as it is with my friends, let alone with someone I don't even know yet or even really care about. Like, oh. It was just horrible. So I really would agree with the statement of saying, on your first date, or even or even a dinner conversation, don't talk about religion and politics. It just, you know, some of those conversations are better kept. When you know someone maybe a bit better, or you trust them, or, you're, or you want to know how they think about these issues, I guess. Um, anyways, tell me what your guys' worst date was. Um, I'm curious to know. I want to know. It's probably a lot worse than mine. My mind wasn't that bad. Needless to say, I guess I should tell you how it ended. We uh, we didn't have another date after that. <laughs> I saw him at the bar after that. We're friends, I guess. I think we're friends on Facebook, actually. Um, but one date only. Never went back for more. So comment below. Tell me what your worst date was, your worst experience. Uh, I can't wait to read about it. Cheers, guys. Have a good day. So I just want to tell you guys what I'm wearing today. This is actually a premium cotton t-shirt from H&M. I think it was like $6.95 broke the bank. Secondly, I'm wearing these really cute shorts. I don't know if you can see them here. Very cute, very cute. Not bad, right? They're kind of nice. And lastly, but not least, I'm drinking uh, vodka cranberry. Uh, not just any vodka, Finlandia vodka. Mm, delicious. And I'm sure there's a few of you that are into feet, so barefoot! That's it. That's all you get. Bye. Hey, for Gay Sakers, it's Mitchell here. It is Wednesday. No, it's Tuesday, May the 17th. Oh, fuck. I don't even know what the date is today. Let's start over. 